potential at a point due to an electric dipole. Consider an electric dipole of charge Q length to A. O be the position of center of the dipole. Plus Q is located at A. Minus Q is located at B. The dipole is placed in free space of absolute permittivity epsilon naught. Let us calculate the electric potential at any point C due to the dipole. The point C is at a distance R from the center of the dipole or it is at a distance R1 from plus Q charge and it is at a distance R2 from minus Q charge. If V is the electric potential at point C, V1 be the potential at C due to plus Q charge, V2 be the potential at C due to minus Q charge. Then total potential V is equal to V1 plus V2. And we know V1 is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R1 plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into V2 means due to minus Q charge. It is at a distance R2 minus Q by R2 or this is equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into 1 by R1 minus 1 by R2. On solving this, we get Q by 4 pi epsilon naught into R1 R2 is the denominator. Numerator is R2 minus R1. This is the electric potential at C due to the electric dipole. Now let us simplify the equation in terms of R. The point C is bit far away. Hence the distance R is very large compared to A. Let a normal is drawn from point A to R or R2. The normal from A meet R at point N and the normal meet R2 at point M. We know R is larger than R1 by a distance ON. Since we take an approximation that beyond this normal AC is approximately equal to NC which is approximately equal to MC or R1 is smaller than R by a distance ON. R1 is R minus ON. We know 
the dipole moment acts from minus q to plus q this is the direction in which dipole moment p acts the dipole moment makes an angle theta with the line joining midpoint of the dipole to the point c hence from the triangle o a n what is cos theta from the triangle o a n cos theta is equal to o n by o a o n divided by o a is small a or o n equal to a cos theta let us substitute in the equation for r1 so r1 equal to r minus a cos theta similarly r2 is larger than r r2 is equal to r plus a cos theta substituting these values in electric potential v v equal to q by 4 pi epsilon not into r2 minus r1 that is r plus a cos theta minus r minus a cos theta whole divided by r1 r2 r plus a cos theta into r minus a cos theta this is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon not into r minus r 0 a cos theta minus of minus a cos theta is 2 times a cos theta by this is in the form a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square which is r square minus a square cos square theta also it is clear that dipole moment p is one of the charge into length of the dipole hence q into 2a can be written as p cos theta by 4 pi epsilon not into r square minus a square cos square theta which is the potential at point c due to the dipole now if we take the approximation that a is negligible compared to r a square cos square theta is also negligible which is approximately equal to zero which means potential p is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into p cos theta divided by r square since this part is almost equal to zero which is the potential at point c due to the electric dipole now let us consider few different cases that is the electric dipole is having charge plus q and 
other charges minus q separated by a distance to a where o is the center of the dipole imagine the dipole moment we you know it acts from negative to positive charge so this is the dipole moment p and the point where we calculate electric potential that is c point c is along the direction of the dipole moment which is the point c is along the direction of the dipole moment means the angle between p and oc which is theta that is equal to 0 degree when theta is 0 potential at point c equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not p cos 0 by r square which is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into cos 0 is 1 p by r square so when theta is 0 potential v is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into p by r square imagine we calculate electric potential along the equatorial plane of the dipole that is the point c is along the equatorial plane point c is along the equatorial plane this is the dipole moment this is the line joining o to c the angle is 90 degree so when theta equal to 90 degree means we calculate the electric potential along the equatorial plane of the dipole v equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not p cos 90 by r square we know cos 90 is 0 which is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into 0 hence when theta equal to 90 degree potential is zero now coming to the third case we imagine the point c where we calculate electric potential is in a direction opposite to the dipole moment so the point c is this and dipole moment is in the opposite direction in the situation theta angle is 180 degree dipole moment and the line joining the midpoint of the dipole to the point c where we calculate the potential is making an angle 180 degree when theta is 180 potential at c v equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not p cos 180 by r square and we know cos 180 is minus 1 hence the equation will become 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into minus p by r square 
और v इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाई फोर पाई एप्सलेंट नॉट p बाई आर स्क्वायर सो अलोंग द एक्सियल लाइन एंड अलोंग द इक्वेटोरियल लाइन एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स पोटेंशियल इज़ डिफरेंट Thank you.